right, guys, how you doing? It's Rabia, I hope you're all well. I'm really, really excited to be down here at Real World Studios with my good friends at Universal Audio for an exclusive first look at the brand new Ox 1.2 software update. For those of you unfamiliar with Ox, it's a premium guitar load box that sits between your head and cab. It allows us to attenuate our amplifier going from full bore all the way down to completely silent. It has a line out for recording, a headphone out so you can listen to it in isolation, and it offers a plethora of different speaker models, onboard effects, and processing. As well as attenuation, Aux provides a complete guitar recording environment, featuring a ton of awesome speaker models, world-class mic collection, in the incredible Universal Audio 610 Studios in California. To shape your desired guitar sound, you can use the Aux application, available for Windows, Mac, and iPad. You can use it to choose different microphone combinations, different speaker cabinets, you can add effects and additional processing, and you can save all of this as a preset. You can even assign it to one of the six rig presets on the front panel. Once you've found your perfect sound, you can use it to practice, you can send it to front of house in a live application, or you can record it directly out from Aux, like we are today. So what's new in Aux 1.2? Firstly, we've got five brand new cabinets featuring the long-awaited V30 in both a British and an American voicing. For all you guys out there that enjoy heavy music such as me, our prayers have been answered. We've also got a couple of other cabinets ideal for boutique clean guitar tones and a bunch of new presets for you all to enjoy. For those of you who already own an Ox, you may have noticed the foot switch in on the back panel. With 1.2, you can actually use a foot switch. So you can take a two or three button foot switch and use it to engage things like reverb, delay, EQ, or compression. For example, you could use an 1176 as a solo boost, or you could tap it in and out when you're doing some clean funk patterns. You can use it to switch on things like reverb and delay at the same time if you want to use that for an ambient guitar part. Basically makes Ox way more versatile on stage and in the studio. So in this video, I want to show all of you out there that love high gain guitar tones just what Ox is capable of. We've got a bunch of guitars, a load of high gain guitar amplifiers going straight into Ox, and we're going to be looking at the new V30 and GB30 4x12 cab models. So without further ado, let's check out Ox version 1.2. Okay, so we're going to start by trying to get some tones that I would use. Uh, so we're using my Chapman ML3 beer guitar, running into the Victory VX100 Super Kraken, and the speaker model we're using is an American V30. This comes from a cab which is much heavier, has more density, it's a much throatier mid-range, so it's really good for modern tones. We're going to be using a plate reverb and a digital delay that is built into Ox. <laughs> Moving on, we're going to be trying to get some clean and dirty tones using my Chapman baritone guitar. We'll stay on the same speaker model, but I'm now going to introduce my own pedal reverb and delay into the loop of the Kraken, so there's no effects coming from Ox. However, we have dialed up the room sound just a little bit to give us a little bit more of a colossal, epic room guitar sound. Thank you. 
Okay, now we're gonna mix things up a little bit. We're gonna change the speaker model to a JBG125 driver. This is a boutique speaker. It's in a one by 12 enclosure. It's a much smoother, warmer tone. And I'm gonna be using this Mayonnaise Regis Core Classic into the Victory Super Kraken to give us some ambient leads. And then I'm gonna push in a little bit of fuzz to break things up a little bit. Okay, so now we're gonna try and get that classic LA Sunset Strip style rock and roll tone. I'm using a Gibson 1971 Les Paul Custom into a JCM 800 2203 Mark II amplifier. Any reverb you're hearing is a plate reverb built into aux, and the speaker we're using is a V30 British angle style cab uh, with a little bit of extra speaker breakup to get that sort of vintage voicing. <laughs> Following on in the Marshall vein, I'm going to try and achieve an Adam Jones from Tool kind of guitar sound. So I've got my Marshall JVM410, Gibson Les Paul, and we've changed the speaker driver in aux to be a GB30, which has got tons of high-end definition, a tight low end, it's paired really well with this amplifier. We're also using a bit of digital delay to give us a bit of stereo widening. <laughs> So now I'm gonna try and play something a bit softer, but in the same style. So I've switched to a light crunch on the JVM. We swapped out the digital delay for a bit of chorus and we've got a plate reverb all within aux to give us that ambient progressive rock style.
So now we're going to explore the world of new metal guitar tone using this Mesa dual rectifier and its matching American V30 speaker model. We've decided to pan the microphones in the Ox application to give us more of a larger than life high gain guitar tone. We've also thrown in a bit of EQ and an 1176 compressor all built into Ox to truly give us that American high gain new metal guitar sound. Well, this video would not be complete without using a PV5150 to get us that archetypal metal guitar sound. We're using an American V34 x 12 and we've used two dynamic microphones to really get across the aggression and the snarl that the 5150 has. Basically, a 57 on a V30 for a 5150 sound is all of metal guitar. <laughs> Of course, the 5150 was Eddie Van Halen's signature amplifier. So to honor his epic lead tone, we've thrown a boost in the front and we've also added a bit of flanger and plate reverb built into Ox. <laughs> So we're running a little tonal experiment right now. We're trying to use Ox to facilitate a wet dry rig. Basically, I've got my VX100 running into the cab, but we've put Ox in between the two. We're using the line outs of Ox into these two monitor wedges here. We've mic'd up my cab, but we've also mic'd up the two monitor wedges. And I can actually send just effects to the wedges to create that wet dry rig. And the other cool thing is I've got my foot switch set up so I can actually turn on things like an 1176 compressor as a boost and also add more reverb and delay using the foot switch. So I end up with this colossal guitar sound that I could use on stage if I wanted to.
there we go. There is a look at the brand new Ox 1.2 software update. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and some of the epic guitar sounds that we've been getting down here today. I want to say a huge thank you to Universal Audio and Real World for having us. And to get this free update, check the link in the description box. Please comment, let me know what you think. Like, subscribe and share, and I will see you all very soon. Yeah.